Well, shit. This is a very bad hunter's map. Need to get upstairs ASAP. Hi, Galaxy. How you doing? Hmm. No one spawned upstairs. I would have seen them by now. I mean, some most are spawned downstairs. Ah, oh, hi gamers. Hope I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. I threw up. <laughs> no dead arm. What's the worst map for Huntress? I'd say... Specifically for Huntress? Probably Fracture Cowshed. And then Haddonfield and then like Ormond. No one else upstairs? No one else is upstairs. I mean, they were all by the bathroom. Hello, Menelo. How you doing? Hello, Honored Phoenix. Mm, he had balance landing, I think. Do you have a DC map? Yeah, Haddonfield is my DC map. Hi. <laughs> I was just chasing the Dwight and this happened. Oh, she didn't have that hard last time. Maybe it just didn't work, who knows. Well, that fucking sucks. Same person got hit twice. Not Larry's. I mean, Larry's is also bad. You have to take into account. 80 to 85% of the maps in Dead by Daylight are very bad for Huntress. You're going to inherently be at a disadvantage most of your games. And that's just something you have to accept when you play Huntress. Just because I'm not including the map in the list doesn't mean it's it's good for Huntress. Yep, stairs are good, stairs. Well, we gotta find the nearest staircase. <laughs> Okay. I mean, this is not even my fault at this point. The best map for Huntress? I would say Azeroth's resting place. It's the one with the, um, it's like an eye shape. If you look at it from a skybox view, it's the one with like the, uh, the straight lane down the middle between the two halves. That choke point can win you games if you play it right. I would say it's probably the most killer sided map in the game. enough to leave early. Could have committed to it. This guy dropped the pellets very early. Listening to. Does Dwight have iron will? Dwight must have iron will, yeah, he does. Oh, get fucking destroyed. Nice dead hard dork. Right, I need some axes, that's what I need. Give him hatchets. Hello, scratch marks, my old friend. <clears throat> really DC'd once, you don't like wasting time to queue again? Well, I mean, if you're like killer, 
Uh, I can see that as survivor, but if you're a killer, then like your cues are instant and doesn't even matter. Unless you're like not. Uh, unless you're like gray ranks and stuff. I'm pretty sure Q times for killer are like really, really, really good right now for a majority of ranks. I'm running to the right of Barbecue and Chili. Yeah, she's still here. You are dead on hook, lady. Darn. Poopy. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Okay, she doesn't try to juke when she's holding a corner. I don't have to worry about her, like, jetting out. I can just throw straight at her. Damn. Hi. Literally instant killer matches. I mean, yeah, mine have been like five seconds sometimes. Crouching change your hitbox for the hatchets? Uh, it does. Crouching makes your hitbox lower. It's the only thing in the game that makes your uh, hitbox lower. Self care, uh, doing a generator, all that fun stuff does not affect hatchets. Or not hatchets, uh, your hitbox. <laughs> nice try. Are you working on that? I can't tell. I'm not gonna wait around and see. I need to go to this person's working on the um the bathroom generator. It's very, very dangerous. Haha, uh, fool do. Stain manipulation. Always does the trick. <sighs> does crouching while being healed do anything? Um. No, I think while you're healing, no. But, like, just solo crouching is the only thing that does. That uh, changed your hitbox. Which is why, if you like, if you're like self carrying behind a box, it looks like you're like crouching and like healing yourself. But someone can hit over where you're uh, self-carrying and hit the like the invisible hitbox above you. Oh, fuck. I didn't think I was in the hitbox, but I was. Eight keys. I hate worries. And look, two things that we both hate that are unfair for the other side. We should, uh, change them. And boop. Alright, they're gonna be at the staircase. Actually, I'm gonna go upstairs right here. Should be in this room. Man, they were just running here and I see no scratches. I just see you. I thought I just saw you. Okay. Where are the gamers at? They must have dropped downstairs because they are not upstairs at all. Hmm. Oh, there's scratch marks. Right there. Oh, she's the one that got the hook. These are like cheating. Um, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. I mean, it's not technically cheating because <laughs> it's part of the game. It's so not cheating. But by the, the very nature of the way Keys and Moris work, um, like the killer's objective is to kill. They need to hook someone three times to wait out the entire bleed duration on the hook in order to get a kill. That's your objective. 
uh, survivor's objective is to do five generators to escape. Um, by nature, Keys and Moris let you circumvent your objective and win anyway. So a killer doesn't have to hook someone three times or wait out the entire bar. A survivor doesn't have to do all their generators to leave. Like, it's just bad design, you know? I think they should definitely be changed. I would say Morios are stronger than Keys, though. Here's the dead hard. Have to hit someone three times. I think he's dead. I fucked this guy twice already. And do it. Mori, you should be earned. I wouldn't mind Mori's if you could only use it when they're dead on hook. So like it can counter DS or like it can be a counter to hook Sabos and it does a cool animation. Mori's I think would be balanced in that regard. But that's not what they do. They let you kill someone early without having to do what you should be doing to earn the kill. You just get a free kill because you have a fucking Morion and it's ridiculous. And keys kind of do the same thing, but not as potent. Like a survivor doesn't have to complete their objective to, to escape against you, which is, I think, wrong. But I guess that's like how the hatch works for like the last survivor sometimes. Even though there are counters now that you can just like close the hatch or slug for the 4k. Unless someone DCs it for it. Okay, I need to actually focus and try and find this guy. I have no clue where he is. Okay, Whisper's just rocked. There you are. Okay. Howdy, gamer. Sometimes you throw up. It's okay. Happens to the best of us. Oh, close. Almost got One her there. Oh, you can't throw through that hole. Fuck. Uh, Gunner, thank you for the year. <laughs> Damn, it's been a while. Thanks for the support, dude. Hope you're doing well. I appreciate it. I mean, the fix for keys was just making it uh, would be changing hatch. Hatch can literally not spawn unless either there is one survivor left or all gens are done. That's the only way any of that can uh, happen. Because then they would have to do their objective in order to escape through key. So at least they did, you know, what they're supposed to. I thought she was camping the pallet. She still dies here. And dead. Need to get them. I, I don't know where Tap went. At this point, enough gents have been done to where Hatch has spawned somewhere downstairs. So I'm actually going to leave this hook and I'm going to search the area for Hatch. So I know where it is. After um, I kill the last person and there's one dude left. Okay, there it is. Now we know. Now we can pretty much face camp the hook. And the only way uh, that this guy gets Hatch is if she DCs to instantly open. Hatch up. I don't think it's happening. Alright. I'm gonna go close hatch first. I think that's the play. Hatch is over here. We're gonna close it. So that you can't DS me to hatch.
Hello, Lala Runa, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, Blade Man. Hello, Lettuce Party, welcome. Double PM. Was that a perfect game? <gasps> perfect Huntress game on fucking on that map. Oh, oh, perfect Huntress game. Feels good, man. Feels good. <laughs> 